Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on inconsistency of premises. How can you say that the given premises are said to be inconsistent? So inconsistency of premises means the conjunction of the given premises derives a contradiction. Hence, we can say that the given premises are said to be inconsistent. To prove that the given premises are inconsistent, we have to use indirect method of proof. Okay. Now, we are already solved one example problem on indirect method of proof for our proof by contradiction. Now, in this method, okay, several statements are given. From that statements, first we have to write the premises. After that, we have to check whether the given premises are inconsistent or not. Okay. Now, show that the following set of premises are inconsistent. Okay. The given statements are, if the contract is valid, then John is liable for penalty. If the John is liable for penalty, then he will go for bankrupt. If the bank will loan him money, then he will not go for bankrupt. As a matter of the fact, the contract is valid and the bank will loan him money. Okay, these are the given statements. From that given statements, we have to write the premises and we have to verify that the given premises derives a contradiction or not. Okay, now we go for solution. We indicate that the given statements as follows. Okay, what are the unique statements are there in the given problem? First one, contract is valid. So this is one unique statement. Next one, John is liable for penalty. John is liable for penalty. Next one, he will go for bankrupt. That means John will go for bankrupt. Next one, bank will loan him money. Bank will loan him for money. Any new unique statement is there? Here contract is valid. Yes, it is there. Bank will loan him money. Yes, it is there. Bank will loan him money. Yes, it is there. He will not go for bankrupt. So, he will go for bankrupt. Yes, it is there. Negation of that one. John is liable for penalty. Yes, it is there. Contract is valid. Yes, it is there. Okay, so these are the unique statements from the given problem. Now, uh, these unique statements are represented by using a uh, uppercase letters. So, contract is valid. In this one, this statement can be denoted by capital B. Next, John is liable for penalty. This can be denoted by L. Okay, John will go for bankrupt. This statement can be denoted by B. Next, bank will loan him for money. This statement can be denoted by M. Okay, so each and every unique statement can be represented by one uppercase letters. Contract is valid. It is denoted by B. John is liable for penalty. It is denoted by L. John will go for bankrupt. It is denoted by B. Bank will loan him for money is denoted by M. Okay. So, by using these letters, we can represent the given statements in symbolic form. Okay. The above statements, the above statements in the given problem, in the given problem, are represented 
are represented in symbolic form symbolic form okay first statement if the contract is valid then john is liable for penalty in this one contract is valid is denoted by letter b next john is liable for penalty is denoted by l in between them what is the connective is the if then connective if then connective can be denoted by conditional symbol okay this is the first premise next premise if john is liable for penalty john is liable for penalty is denoted by letter l next one he will go for bankrupt so john will go for bankrupt is denoted by b so in between them if then connective is there so then we have to use conditional symbol okay next one if the bank will loan him money so bank will loan him money is denoted by m next then he will not go for bankrupt he will go for bankrupt is denoted by b he will not go for bankrupt is denoted by negation b in between them if then connective is there so that we have to use conditional symbol next as a matter of fact the contract is valid is denoted by b and the bank will loan him money bank will loan him money is denoted by m in between them and connective is there so this is and connective is there okay so these are the given premises we are getting from the given, uh, given statements in the given problem by using these letters b l b and m okay so these are the given premises we have to check that whether the given premises uh, derives a contradiction or not if the given premises derives a contradiction hence we can say that the given premises are said to be inconsistent otherwise the given premises are said to be consistent okay so now we have to verify that the given premises are said to be uh, inconsistent or not okay now first i am taking uh, uh, first premise is introduced into the derivation uh, by using a rule p so now i am taking the first premise v conditional l by using rule p it is introduced into the derivation in the first step in the derivation okay so next i am taking this premise this premise is introduced into the derivation by using a rule p so that is a l conditional b this is the second premise we are taking and a second step in the derivation okay from these two premises we have to derive any new formula by using any implication rule yes we are getting a new formula by using a rule t applied on first step and a second step and i13 so what is i13 i13 is nothing but p conditional q q conditional r implies p conditional r so this is the i13 rule by using this rule applied on first step and second step we are getting so v conditional b okay so this step we are getting by combining one and two steps this is the new step that is the third step in the derivation okay here in the place of p v is there in the place of q l is there in the place of q l is there in the place of r b is there from that one p conditional r in the place of p v is there in the place of r b is there so we are getting v conditional b according to the i13 implication rule okay so next one i am taking this premise is introduced into the derivation okay so after completing third step now we go for fourth step 
fourth step in the derivation uh, b and m so this premise is introduced into the derivation by using rule p okay so here b and m can be written as a v v and m can be written as m according to the implication rule i1 and i2 okay v and m can be divided into v and can be divided into m separately by using the implication rule i1 and i2 okay on the same step for a new step is generated so this is a rule t applied on which step that is the fourth step and i1 so here i1 is nothing but p and q implies p p and q implies p in the place of p v is there in the place of q m is there p and q implies p in the place of p v is there so that we are getting v okay next on the same step that is the fourth step this is the next step that is the sixth step we are getting a rule t applied on fourth step and i2 what is i2 p and q implies q okay so in the place of p v is there in the place of q m is there uh, m plus q means in the place of q m is there so that we are getting m okay in the case of v and m v and m implies v according to the i1 rule v and m implies m according to the i2 rule okay next next one so i am combining this is a third step and a fifth step third step is nothing but 1 comma 2 fifth step is nothing but 4 by combining these two steps we are getting 1 comma 2 comma 4 okay this is the seventh step in the derivation here v is there here v conditional b is there v comma v conditional b we are getting b okay according to the uh, rule t applied on which steps fifth step and third step third step and fifth step and i11 so what is i11 i11 is nothing but p comma p conditional q implies q p comma p conditional q implies q in the place of p b is there in the place of p b is there in the place of q b is there v v conditional b so here q is there in the place of q b is there then we are getting the answer b according to the rule i11 okay so next one now this premise is introduced into the derivation so that is uh, after seventh step that is the uh, eighth step eighth step in the derivation m conditional uh, negation b m conditional negation b so by using uh, rule p this premise is introduced into the derivation now by combining this step and this step here m m conditional negation b then we are getting negation b according to the same rule in the place of uh, p m is there in the place of p m is there in the place of q negation b is there p comma p conditional q implies q in the place of q negation b is there so from the these two steps this is 4 this is 8 by combining 4 comma 8 that is the ninth step in the derivation we are getting negation b by using rule t applied on which step sixth step and eighth step six eight and i11 i11 rule i already write here okay now here negation b is there here b is there okay by using uh, implication rule i9 so i9 is nothing but p comma q implies p and q so here from these two steps this step is 1 2 4 and this step is uh, 8 4 comma 8 by combining them we are getting 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 8 
that is the next step in the derivation we are writing b and negation b okay what we are according to the uh, rule t applied on which step seventh step and the ninth step seventh step and the ninth step and i9 so i9 is nothing but p comma q implies p and q okay here this is p this is q so p and q is nothing but b and negation b we are already know that b and negation b is a contradiction okay hence we can say that um, the given premises are said to be inconsistent because the set of premises derives a contradiction b and negation b so therefore therefore the given premises are inconsistent the given premises are inconsistent okay so in this way we have to solve the given problem first whatever the statements that unique statements can be represented by some letters by using these letters the given statements can be represented in symbolic form then we are getting the premises okay uh, now by using this premises we have to use some implication rule and equivalence rule now we have to verify that whether the given premises are derives a contradiction or not if the given premises derives a contradiction hence we can say that the given premises are inconsistent otherwise the given premises are not inconsistent okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so the bella srinivasarao